Hello guys, welcome to my channel Basic Electrical Learning and today we are going to discuss about uh, the single phase generator full load current calculation. So in this video you will learn about that how much load can be applied to a single phase AC generator. A single phase AC generator. So in a single phase AC generator uh, there is a number of load can be applied on a single phase AC generator as you can see that there are so many loads can be applied to the generator but the main reason is that that how much current can be drawn from the generator so if you applied so much load on the generator definitely generator will be burned out or it will shut down immediately so in this video you will find out that how much load can be connected to the generator you will be able to calculate your correct value of current let's start the topic so here is the topic single phase full load current calculation and we have the question that what is the maximum safe current which can be collected from a single phase AC generator. So there is a question and as we know that most of our home AC generator is available in kVA kilovolt ampere uh, it is a unit of AC power there is another uh, unit of AC power that is watt and what is the difference between kVA and watt uh, there is a link available on the top in which the detailed explanation is available so go to the link and you can find out the difference between kilovolt ampere and kilowatt now come to your topic that is the AC generator so the AC generator having a 25 kVA power and 240 is the normal power supply that is the AC voltage and how much current or what will be the full current for that generator. So again there is a question that uh, if we have a 25 kilovolt single phase AC generator so how much current can be drawn from this generator safely and efficiently. So there is a formula uh, from which we can find out the maximum safe current that is kVA kilovolt ampere is equal to VA divided by 1000 and this is the formula for single phase AC generator. Uh, there is another formula that is for three phase AC generator. So in three phase AC generator there is a uh, under root 3 is added in this formula uh, how to calculate the current for the three phase ac generator there is again the link on the top will be available so if you want to find out how you can calculate uh, the maximum current for the three phase ac generator so you can click on the link and watch the video now our topic is relating to only for single phase ac generator and that is the a that is for ampere which actually we are going to find out that is our task let's see we will rearrange the formula so that 1000 will be multiplied from k with kva then there is a voltage divided by voltage and that is the current which we are going to find out so the formula will be ampere is equal to 1000 multiplied by kva divided by the voltage now we have the values of kVA and the voltage by putting the value let's see how we will calculate the total current. So there is the question as we know the given data is that is ampere A is equal to 1000 multiplied by 25 that as we know kVA is 25 kVA single phase generator and voltage is here you can see that is 240 volt now by putting the value and by calculating it with the help of calculator you will find that that 25 multiplied by 1000 it will become 25000 divided by 240 now by further division we will find that the current will be 104.16 ampere that is the maximum current which can be drawn from this generator 
so the maximum current will never be drawn from the generator for the same operation so we always get the 80 percent of the maximum current So here you can see that 105 ampere is the maximum current which can be drawn from 25 kV single phase AC generator having a 240 voltage that is the AC voltage. So as we know that generator having a different type of loads that are the resistive load and it may be the inductive load and capacitive load. When these type of load is applied in a generator as you can see that the power factor is involved. Now the power factor for the resistor is P F the power factor is equal to 1 and the power factor for uh, the inductor is 0 but uh, the combined load of resistive and inductive the power factor becomes 0 0.8 so here in our situation we having a AC generator it also have capacitive inductive and resistive load so the combined effect of these all loads the power factor will be 0 0.85 or 0 0.8 to 0 0.95 so we must include the power factor with our total current and again what is the power factor another link on the top is available in this video i already explained what is the power factor now for the safety for the generator and for the safe current we will take 80 percent of the full current now as we know that is our maximum current and the 80 percent of the load as we know it is our maximum current and 80 percent of the full load current will be 104.16 multiplied by 80 divided by 100 now by solving this equation with the help of calculator we will find that the 80 percent of 104.16 ampere will be 83.33 ampere so that is our safe current if we apply that amount of load our generator will work efficiently so if we have 25 kV a single phase AC generator so how much current can be drawn from the single phase generator safely and efficiently with the output of 24 volt and that safe current is 83.33 ampere so 104 is the full load current and 83.33 is the 80 percent of the full load current and always we apply the 80 percent of the full load current because the involvement of the power factor so gentlemen here is the formula for the a single phase ac generator which is a is ampere thousand multiplied by kva the power of the ac generator divided by the available voltage and remember that is for the single phase for the three phase i also provide the link you can go and find out the calculation for three phase ac generator.